Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're doing a career simulation with Claude Giroux. He's 35 years old at the moment, playing on the Ottawa Senators. The 2022-2023 season is not involved in this simulation at, at all. Just considering that the season's already done, I didn't really want to make it a part of this video. He did have 88 points in 82 games, though, which is bringing his overall up to a 91 at this point. He has two years left on his deal at $6.5 million. He's obviously a guy who hasn't played in a ton of playoff games. He went to the Stanley Cup Finals when he was young in 2010. 95 career playoff games, though. He's got 81 career points. Eight points in 10 games two years ago when he was traded to Florida at the trade deadline and then signed with Ottawa the season after. So he's a 91 overall at 35 years old. Curious to see if he's going to re-sign with Ottawa. Maybe he's going to go elsewhere. Maybe he'll retire early, but he's still producing. So he's on the second line centering that with Norris and Tarasenko on the wings. Batherson, Stutzel, Brady, Kachuk is the first line. Greg, Pinto, Kubalik is the third line. And Sokolov, Kastelik, Joseph is the fourth line. We've got Shabbat, Branstrom on D, Bernard Docker, Chikorin, Sanderson, Zub. And then in net, we've got Anton Forsberg with Jonas Corposalo. So the first year of Claude Giroux's career simulation goes really well as the Ottawa Senators get back into the playoffs for the first time in six seasons. They finish in third place in the Atlantic Division. 104 points, a record of 46, 24 and 12, and will be playing the Detroit Red Wings in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Giroux with another really great season. He scores 46 goals this year. That might be a career high. 43 assists, good for 89 points. He had 88 last year, and I do think that 46 is a career high. Yep, 38 was the most he ever had before that. So even at 36 years old, he continues to produce. Looking at playoff stats, he was really good. Four goals, 12 assists, good for 16 points in 14 playoff games this year as Ottawa does at least win a round in the first year of his simulation. Taking a look at that playoff bracket, Ottawa wins the first round in seven over the Detroit Red Wings, lose in seven to the Tampa Bay Lightning in the second round. Tampa Bay loses in seven in the conference finals to Carolina, and Carolina goes on to win the cup, sweeping the Calgary Flames. Taking a look at team and league awards for year number one of Claude Giroux simulation, Hurricanes win the Stanley Cup, President's Trophy to Tampa Bay, Clarence Campbell Bowl to Calgary, Prince of Wales to the Carolina Hurricanes, Art Ross to Matthews, Hart to Kucherov, Norris to Hedman, Lady Bing to Johnny Goudreau, Calder to Joachim Kemmel, Conn Smythe to Sebastian Aho, Vesna to Vasilevsky, same with the William M. Jennings, Bill Masterton to Josh Manson, Jack Adams goes to the Ducks coach, Selkie to Crosby, Ted Lindsay to Kucherov, and Maurice Rocket Richard to Matthews. We are on now to season number two of this Claude Giroux career simulation. He is sitting at an 88 overall. He's got one year left on this contract at $6.5 million. Curious to see if he's going to go back to the Ottawa Senators after next year. Obviously, they went on a run last year where they made the second round, Game 7. So hopefully, they can build off that. Giroux can maybe get a Stanley Cup before he retires. He's playing with Stutzel and Batherson this year. Tarasenko comes back this year. He's playing with Brady Kachuk and Norris. Gurionov, Pinto, Ridley, Greg, Sammy Blay, Joseph, and Alex Nylander. On defense, they got Shabbat, Chikrin, Branstrom, Sanderson, and Caleb Jones with Jacob Bernard Docker. In a net, they got Mad Sogard with Anton Forsberg. Year two of the Drew simulation goes really well for the Senators. They finish in third in the Atlantic Division with 107 points, 50 wins, 25 losses, 7 losses in OT, and they'll be playing the Boston Bruins in round one of the playoffs. Giroux has another really good offensive season, 41 goals, 42 assists, 83 points in 82 games, still at that 88 overall. In the playoffs, he played in six games, he had four points, so Ottawa not getting out of the first round this year. The Sens fall to the Bruins in six games in round one. The Bruins lose to the Panthers in round two and seven. The Panthers go on to the conference finals and lose to their state rival, the Tampa Bay Lightning, in five. And then Tampa takes care of business in the finals, beating Vegas in five. Taking a look at team and league awards, Tampa Bay wins the Stanley Cup. The President's Trophy goes to Toronto. Clarence Campbell Bowl to Vegas. Prince of Wales to Tampa Bay. Individual awards, McDavid wins the Art Ross. The Hart goes to Matthews. North to Shabbat. Lady Bang to Pasternak. Calder goes to Fraser Minton. Smythe to Brandon Hagel. Vesna Trophy to Spencer Knight. William M. Jennings goes to Spencer Knight as well. Bill Masterton to Ryan Graves. Jack Adams goes to Seattle's coach. Selkie to Crosby, Ted Lindsay to Matthews, and Maurice Rocket Richard to Matthews. 
Year three of the Giroux simulation, he signs with the Minnesota Wild at 37 years old, a one-year contract at $8.71 million. He'll be their first-line center, and between Patrick Kane and Kirill Kaprizov, Boldy, Rossi, Demidov is their second line. Yurov, Eric Sinek, and Husnadinov is line three. Nason, Frederick Goudreau, and Daniel Sprong is their fourth line. On D, they got Brodine, Addison, Spurgeon, Lambos, and Schmidt with favor. And their goaltending is Philip Gustafson with Jesper Wallstad. Bruce signs with the Wild in the offseason, and they have a really good season. 41 wins, 34 losses, 7 in overtime, finished with 89 points and second in the Central Division. And they'll be playing the Winnipeg Jets in round one of the playoffs. Another really solid season from Claude Drew. He scores 43 goals at the age of 38, finishes with 79 points in 82 games. It is on the lower side for him considering the last couple years. He probably hasn't had this low of points per game since the 2021-2022 season where he finished off with the Flyers. In 22 playoff games this year, he had 10 goals, 17 assists for 27 points. So he's just been a monster in the playoffs, 128 points in 137 career playoff games. Games. And oh man, is this just nuts. The Ottawa Senators win the Stanley Cup over the Minnesota Wild in five games. So Giroux leaves Ottawa to go to Minnesota and he plays them in the Cup Finals and loses. That's devastating that he does not get his Cup. Minnesota swept the Jets in round one, beat the Stars in seven in round two, the Oilers in six in the Conference Finals, and then falling up short in five to Ottawa. Taking a look at team and league awards, Ottawa wins the Cup, President's Trophy to Tampa Bay, Clarence Campbell Bowl to Minnesota, Prince of Wales to the Ottawa Senators, Individual Awards, Matthews wins the Art Ross and the Hart, Norris to Makar, Lady Bing to Panarin, Calder to Malmstrom, Conn Smythe to Stutzel, Vesna to Vasilevsky, along with the William N. Jennings, Bill Masterton to Connor Murphy, Jack Adams goes to the San Jose Sharks coach, Selkie to McDavid, Ted Lindsay to Matthews, and Maurice Rocket Richard to Austin Matthews as well. We are on now to season number four for Claude Giroux, and he is signed with the Buffalo Sabres after losing in the Stanley Cup Finals with the Minnesota Wild. He signed a one-year deal at $5.63 million. He's going to be playing in the top six at 38 years old. He's playing with Dylan Cousins and Matthew Savoie. First line is Jack Quinn, Tage Thompson, and J.J. Paterka. Third line is Zach Benson, Peyton Krebs, and Jordan Greenway. And the fourth line is Jeff Skinner, Noah Ostland, and Connor Sheary. On defense, they got Darlene with Power, Truba with Samuelson, and and Bryson with high rows, and their goaltending is Devon Levi and Frederick Anderson. Buffalo Sabres have a really good season in Claude Giroux's first year there. 108 points, second place in the Atlantic Division, 52-26-4 and four is the record, and they play in the Leafs in the first round of the playoffs. Claude Giroux has a monster season at 39 years old where he puts up 104 points, including 50 goals. That's a career high for goals. His previous career high was in 23-24 with Ottawa where he had 46. And a career high in points with 104. He had 102 in 17-18 with the Philadelphia Flyers. Really good season for him. And taking a look at his playoff stats for this year with Buffalo, in 10 games he had 9 points, including 1 goal and 8 assists. Take a look at the playoff bracket. The Sabres sweep the Leafs in round one and then lose in six to the Panthers in round two. The Panthers will end up going all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals where they beat the Capitals in the Conference Finals in seven and they go on to win the Stanley Cup over the Dallas Stars in five. Stanley Cup goes to the Florida Panthers. President's Trophy also goes to Florida. Clarence Campbell Bowl to Dallas. Prince of Wales to Florida. Individual Awards Dreisaitl wins the Art Ross and the Hart. This goes to Evan Bouchard. So does the Lady Bing. Calder goes to Trevor Connolly. Conn Smythe to Evan Rodriguez. Vesna to Saros. William M. Jennings to Knight. Bill Masterton to Nikita Okotiuk. Jack Adams to Seattle's coach. Selkie goes to Elias Lindholm. Ted Lindsay to Dreisaitl. And Maurice Rocket Richard to Pasternak. Year number five for Claude Giroux, and he is signed with the Detroit Red Wings. He's still an 84 overall after putting up over 100 points. $6.975 million on a one-year contract. I would assume that after this contract, he's probably done. With the AHL top six forward potential, his overall will go down even if he has a really good season. He's still playing in the top six, though. He'll be playing with Tyler Sagan and Ethan Gauthier. First line is Dabrinkat, Larkin, Raymond. Third line is Valeno, Lawton, Janot. Fourth line is Comfer, Hayton, and Bregerin. On defense, they got Edvinson, Sider, Perrick, Willander, and Wallman, Sandy, and Pelica. And their goaltenders are Trey Augustine and Vili Husso.
So this is possibly the last year of Claude Giroux's career, and he does not make the playoffs with the Detroit Red Wings. They finish one point out of that final wild card spot. The Montreal Canadiens making it in over them. The Red Wings go 46-33 and three, good for 95 points, but sixth place in the Atlantic Division. Claude Giroux continuing to produce even at 40 years old, 35 goals, 35 assists, good for 70 points. He is down to a 79 overall though, which does not make much sense. He has not made the playoffs for the first time in five seasons now. Wondering if he's going to end up playing next year, but he'll probably end up signing an AHL contract if he does. Taking a look at team and league awards, the Flames win the Stanley Cup in 2028. The President's Trophy goes to the Oilers, Clarence Campbell Bowl to the Flames, Prince of Wales to the Ottawa Senators, Art Ross to Matthews, Hart to Tage Thompson, Norris to Evan Bouchard, Lady Bing to Kucherov, Calder goes to Parker on Nashville, Marshawn wins the Conn Smythe with the Calgary Flames, Vesna to Stuart Skinner, same with the Jennings, Bill Masterton to Brandon Carlo, Jack Adams to the Carolina coach, Selkie to Jack Hughes, Ted Lindsay to Tage Thompson, and Maurice Richard to Austin Matthews. That's going to do it for Claude Giroux's career. He finishes with 1,436 points in 1,510 games, including 547 goals, 889 career assists. In total in the playoffs, let's take a look at his stats overall. Obviously, he missed some time with the Flyers. They didn't make it for too many seasons. But in 147 games, he had 137 points, including 44 goals and 93 assists. So he was a playoff performer as well. I wonder if this would give him enough to get into the Hall of Fame, considering he never won a Stanley Cup, never won any league awards that I'm aware of, but he was pretty much a point-per-game player in 1,500 games. What do you guys think? Is that enough to get Claude Giroux into the Hall of Fame without any league awards? He was a 22nd overall pick in 2006. Obviously spent most of his career with the Philadelphia Flyers. Went to Ottawa and then he juggled around for the last couple years of his career trying to find a home, trying to get a Stanley Cup. I think Claude Giroux had a great career. He was definitely a leader for the Flyers. Curious to see if he can help get Ottawa at least back in the playoffs next year for 2023-2024. Thank you very much for watching this video of Claude Giroux's career simulation. If you haven't had the chance to check out any other videos, I'd appreciate it if you go back and do so. It would help me out if you can like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any future uploads.